Smith with Neil Fadden. He's telling him not to go mad as he was at the end of the first. Well, it's nice to, to send them back to their corner with something to think about at the end of the round, but Neil Fannin gave him some good advice. This fella come on to his feet. He looks cute, he's not a knockout puncher, but he looks he can barely thump them in. So just a little bit of care, get the jab working. Fighting out of the red corner, despite the fact that he is the champion, Michael Hunter. It's a superstition of his. Did that against Pickering, and it came off. The camouflage trunks, as always. The man who runs the beaches here by the North Sea. Up against Yerzin Zhailov, a year older at 28, in his 22nd fight, and he doesn't look overawed. Maybe just as well, he's not a massive puncher because some cute little moves. Oh, good work there from Hunter, that was better. That left hook, the last one had an effect on Jailob. Seven knockouts on the Hunter record, seven for Jailob as well. So, some power in there. But the uh, aggression you feel, the pressure's going to do this. Yeah, it's nice to know you're a fighter who can go 12 rounds at a pace. He's proved that. This is, this is what he wants. Just stand off slightly, use the knees, get the long punches home. It's when he gets too close to Jailov that he runs into some danger. Turns Southpaw, the man from Chimkent in Kazakhstan. Got a confused Hunter, but off balance himself. And nearly made to pay there. Oh, left oh that's up. a good punch. Beautiful shot from Hunter. And Jailov has been stopped. Suddenly, in the second round, it was that one hook. And Michael Hunter retains his European title. Emphatically, within five or six seconds, the referee said no. Hunter remains unbeaten, the crowd are charting easy. Premature, Jim Arnold. It was a beautiful punch, but there's a European title at stake here. I think the referee, a very, very experienced referee, who's handled loads and loads of fights at this level. I think he should have had a better look at Jai Love. He should have seen how steady he was in his legs. He could have brought them up, he could have looked at his eyes, he could have given him a couple of precious seconds. But uh, he stepped in, from, 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 to my mind, just a little bit too quick, didn't assess the situation properly, and stepped in. He always says better stepping in too early than too late, but I feel that was too early. His legs still do look a little shaky, Shailov, and he's not protesting. The smiles from Michael Hunter. This is the uh, bit before how it began. Well, that was the good left hook that set the ball rolling. You can see his back foot slipping there. He'd lost his balance, but I think that was because he'd switched to southpaw and he wasn't comfortable. But, I mean, it was a beautiful left hook, no question. See, at this stage, he'd lost his balance. He was shaping up a southpaw, which didn't suit, missing by a mile all over the place. And a beautiful left hook. But this was kind of untidy work here. At this point, he has his back to the referee. Now, the left hooks have been coming up a bit now. Bang! Beauty, but you can see there, but this is an experienced man. That was the glancing blow there, there it is. That, there is no way, he, he was caught almost as, as he was moving away from Hunter. You can see him pleading with the referee straight away. The left hook did the damage, that was the glance. Then there was a glancing right, sent him on halfway across the ring. Now that wasn't really a punishing fight, he was trying to turn around, but his balance had gone. To me, the referee stepped in a little bit quickly. He's looking straight back at Hunter here. His legs don't look all that bad to me. I think maybe the referee should have assessed the situation a bit more before he made his decision. That, to me, looked far worse than it was. He didn't even look into his eyes. He pushed Hunter away, turned and stopped the fight without looking into the fighter's eyes, without seeing what his balance was like. Just from an experienced referee, I'm surprised. OK, Hunter was getting the better of things here, but there's a European title at stake. We're not talking about a, a couple of young kids with their whole career. He's, he's not looked. He's not looked into Jailov's eyes. He's not looked to see how steady his legs were. That didn't assess the situation. Stepped in a little bit too quickly, but nevertheless, I mean, it looked as though Hunter was on his way to victory. Another impressive performance, but maybe the fans have been cheating a little bit because this could have gone on a little bit longer.
Finland's Erki Muranen with a controversial stoppage, but Michael Hunter remains unbeaten, much to the delight of his faithful. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Arnold Bryson has recorded a time of 1 minute and 40 seconds of the second round. The referee has stopped the contest. Shalov in no position to continue. Your winner. And still, the European Super Bantamweight Champion from Hartlepool, it's Michael Hunter. And now Dr. Furgoni will present the championship belt. Win number 24 for Michael Hunter. He retains the European crown. Treasured property. He's already got a Lonsdale belt to keep. And uh, he holds on to that. Another good night for him. And there's plenty more to come on Friday fight night. Former British featherweight champion Jamie McKeever against Riaz Durgahead. Good match that. Michael Jones, the uh, former British and Commonwealth light middleweight champion against Ismail Kazazi. Two quality men. And then Sean Hughes, Mark Callahan in a very interesting English battle for the super bantamweight crown. But the European retained, defended by Michael Hunter, who's with Ed Robinson. Well, Michael, you were confident beforehand, but you surprised to win that quickly. Uh, yeah, well, I was very surprised, you know. I've trained very hard. Uh, we've been working on my power. And I just knew, just, I hit him with uh, not, not all my power, and I thought, oh, I've got him here. And, you know, if he, if he would, the ref didn't stop it, he was, he was going to get hurt, like I was going to knock him, you know. Do you think it was a fair stoppage? Yeah, I do think it was a fair stoppage. He was clearly hurt, you know. Uh, you know, his legs were gone and that, but give the lad credit, you know. I, I'm just going from strength to strength, you know. Do you feel you're still improving after the Pickering performance? Oh, definitely, yeah, you know, there's always room for improvements. I mean, needs been wet on uh, strength-wise. I've been running with weights on my back and stuff, and we've trained a lot harder now because we we've stepped up a, w a level, and uh, we just hope we can go on to bigger and better things. You dream of world titles now? Las Vegas, here we go. Your mentor is German Guatos for the European title. Is next. that a fight that will come next? It's next. Black Bowl. I want to make Black Bowl rock. Are you looking forward to that one? Definitely. Definitely, can't wait. Well done tonight. Thanks a lot, cheers. Join us after the break for analysis of Michael Hunt.